That's it. So now you come back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. You guys set up this studio. You've done the rebirth. You've seen the success. You've tasted some of the success that the music industry can come up. Mm -hmm. What happens next? So, I mean... We, Good and bad. Yeah. We continue working. Um, now I'm just taking on more or less individual artists so, and uh, singles. It does, but how, 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 how do people even know you're back? How do people even know you're a producer? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Or had Brayu done the legwork? Well, there was that legwork that had been done. Um, Rebirth had also gone out mm. and, and, and uh, there was radio play. At that time, radio was really a key thing in Kenya. You know, yeah. uh, to be on radio was quite something at that time because those, the, 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 the advent of music videos had not come in. We're still talking 2001, yes. huh? Yes, now we're moving towards 202. 202, huh? Uh, music videos was not a big deal at that time. Like, you'd have four videos the whole year, as in they're not being made. And so, um, by this time, we're basically just doing the normal commercial work. We are, we are now hustling jobs, um, trying to get adverts. Um, doing sound for NGOs, you know. Now we're, now we're, in, we're in the mainstream grind mm. of Kenya, mm. and at the same time we are we are producing artists, um, and so you don't have anyone signed to you at this time. By this time, I have a group that um, I personally had an interest in producing a girl group, three girls. It was called Jaliwa. Uh, this is way back two or two. One of the members of Jaliwa is a famous TV anchor today. <laughs> Eh, Ivan Okwaro. Ivan Okwaro, yeah. Excellent singer. Brilliant. Absolutely Dude. brilliant. Yeah. She won't tell you that she sings, but you can't beat her in singing. Dude. I'm telling you the truth. I, you know, I, I, had, I, I hardly come across people who could who, who can sing as well as she could. I, I she's, bumped into Yvonne the other she's day. She's out of this world. And she's vocally. like, yeah, yeah, I used to be a singer. I was like, yeah, whatever, man. Yeah. Uh, like, we, and I mean, she was we all were singers. I she's mean, like, no, no, she I even was... recorded. We even did some stuff with Steve Omindi. I'm like, what? And, and uh, believe me, she's totally, absolutely fantastic out of this world yeah and that was then uh, we did an album it never really got to come out because the group didn't stay together for long but it was but you it, did an it, it album even you're saying you did an album yeah, it was an which, album. which meant not one song it's many about 13 yeah what? and and um yeah it was it was then and that together with many other individual artists then fast forward two no, or no, three no no no, no. Don't, don't fast forward like i want i want people to understand yeah some of the grind, you know, you know, yeah. for you it's normal, eh? yeah. Like, but me, I'm like, it's not normal. Mm -hmm. What what you did, the, the amount of, like, for example, doing an album. Mm -hmm. You can talk to people right now. People are not doing album. People are doing hit singles. Of course. So for you to do an album of a girl group, yeah. Even though the even though the group doesn't come, which is probably disheartening, yeah. It was still where your mental space mm, was, and it was, where it the was, and, and it was. was it was fun to produce and it was dope music. I loved it. You know. Who else did you work with? Was were you with Webby at this time? Webby not yet. Okay. Webby is two or four. Okay. So by this time we are going towards two or three. Um, Safaricom Star Search, two or two, mm -hmm. gets a winner called Barbara Guantai. Yeah, and uh, by this time I was friends with Ambrose and Shaki, Ooh, who are who are working Mandugu at Digital. Samawati at that time. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they had Samawati, but every now and then um, there was this evening when they needed to finish a song called Mlango. Usinifungie Mlango. So, 
they needed a studio to just add a few things and to mix and whatnot. And I remember it was late night, like nine o'clock, nine thirty. Ambrose calls me. He's like, "Yo, can we come and and finish some work at your studio?" And they're like, "Please, just just tonight only, like." We just need to polish up the stuff. And I'd, I'd always admired Mandugu because of the group called Jawabo. Yes. Jawabo was, it was such, yes. that such a dope album from yep. way back. So I, was, I, I, I had a soft spot for them. Mm. So Ambrose and Shaki come and they do their final recordings from Lango and they do the mix down and everything at, at my place. <laughs> yes. I remember that song, the beat was also the door closing. Yes. Mm. And it comes out great and from there we form uh, a good friendship and a working relationship. So by the time Safaricom star search have a winner uh, by the name of Barbara Guantai. Barbara Guantai um, chooses producers to work on her album that is being funded by Safaricom star search and so she chooses Mandugu Digital. And Mandugu Digital choose to come and work at my place to do the album. Yeah. So Shaki, Ambrose, we're always together every other day. Barbara, they're working on the album. Good times. Yeah. So we work on that. At the same time, there is a there is a a guitarist who was doing some guitar work on Barbara Guantay's album, who later on approaches me and tells me, you know what? Eh? I have another artist that I want to bring to your studio. Is funded by French Cultural Center, mm. <laughs> and um, he has great music. But we need a place where we're not going to be given that studio pressure of record for three hours and mm. go, or mm. finish your album in two weeks and go. We need a place which is calm. We need a pl- an environment where we can we can we can create. And I think your place will be great for that. This uh, this artist is called Abi. So Abi comes have a meeting. Abby and the guitarist was called Fred Mudasia. So myself, Fred, Abby, we, we sit down and, 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 and we agree to work. And so they bring the project also what? to the studio. So by this time, these two things are going on, yeah? So there is uh, Barbara's album going on, there's Abby recording at the same time, and there's also other artists here and there. Now, fast forward a little bit. We go to two or three. Two or three, um, Shaki, uh, Ambrose Abby. are heavy, doing their thing. With the, with the bounce. Abro, Ambrose has already gone to Tanzania by this time. He's still here throughout. And then. Um, no, Shaki has gone to Tanzania. No, or even Ambi. They're, they're both still here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ambrose, okay. by this time, none of them has gone. So. They're both still here and, and, and then I just keep perusing through some of the songs they record and I listen through them when they're not there. And then there's an old song they had which was very low in quality but sounded really nice. And I thought, I think we need to redo this song. It sounds really good. And so we talk to them and, and, and we agree, yeah, this is a song that needs to be just given that new remaster yeah that new punch like mm-hmm. let's just make the beat again yeah and by this time of course we have this fancy drum machine that had made nakuitaji and could run fancy samples and could lift elements from other songs and put them into a song smartly and make the song great yeah uh, but then nakuitaji has a sample that made the song really fantastic the drum loop actually was was a sample that was lifted off a european group called everything but the girl <laughs> There's, there's, there's a song called Missing You, like the deserts miss the rain. Yeah. If you, it's just a remix where at the, at, at the beginning there's like a the drum, there's like a the drum sample at the beginning that we lifted, and that's what made Nakutaji great. I, I remember I'm, that song. I'm sharing secrets that nobody has ever been told. So <laughs> back to Kina Shaki's story. So this song we decide let's let's make this song again because it's a really hip song, yeah. So we make the song punchy, killer, hip hop, everything, yeah. And um, this song is Rapqua MIC. No! Yeah. Rapqua MIC. Yeah. Ni 
damu tu kama sukari bora pata mari kwa mari boge ya boge za enea kwenye mtaa ndio maana unapigwa na butwa twa twa ili kichwani ni kama ndum mradi usali maulana sije kula ngumu kutum ni kure kupachika mistari ya hatari paeleta awe promoter unafikiri natamka na swa haswa unaswali siweni mkali hasa na hiyo hali lakini napana ka serikali ya jana nikiwachana na wale wana maana kila mmoja ni mzee utaki jina kijana usana na mimi nikapo sana na usana unatamaa lakini mimi nimekata kupata matako au limwata Daughter. So <laughs> we record this song and we bring in Judge and Shaki and for the first time we realize Shaki is actually a really good rapper because as we knew him as a singer. So we make rap kwa MC we mix it it's nice. And then one Saturday afternoon we are doing nothing we are hanging out in the studio. And then I just come up with this idea you know what this song needs a video so we just go and Let's go and shoot a video. <laughs> like let's go. Yeah. I've never shot a video in my life. Um I have a handy camera. You know those cameras that you use for picnic, <laughs> birthday party, uh those ones for, you know, those ones for just for fun. So I have a handy cam that we used to roam around with just to archive things we are doing for fun. Yeah. So I tell Kinashaki bana, see let's go and just make a video for fun. Yeah. We had no idea on what to do the video had no lighting no costumes the video was it was what it was we drove to Ziwani our budget was a total of 1400 Kenya shillings <laughs> that is the budget for rap kwa MIC video a total of 1400 Kenya shillings it's one of the only videos i've ever done that has got so many likes and zero dislikes <laughs> on youtube It's one of the only ones I've ever done. It has no dislikes and it has so many likes. This the, that hand that faces down is on zero. So now now some heroes are going to go yeah. in. <laughs> so <laughs> you should have so, said that. <laughs> so we go out. This is 2003. What? We have no really plan on how to shoot. There was no makeup, there was no set design. There was nothing. We just went, we drove to Ziwani. We packed. But then the 1400 was 400 for fuel mm-hmm. and 1000 for guys food. <laughs> yeah. So in essence we didn't we didn't spend anything it it it, it, it was a zero budget. Mm. So we go to Ziwani and we decide the best thing we can do I'll, I'll, I'll sit on the back of a, or the trunk of a, of a, of a, of a Toyota. You drive slowly. You drive slowly and then guys just guys just follow the car. Guys just walk following the car and then we play the music from the car. That was one take. <laughs> then the other take was some guy sitting on top of a, a thing like a so like a balcony. It's like a it's like what covers the veranda of a house huh? at the top there. So guys climbed up there. That was the other shot. Yeah. So it was between there and guys walking and that's the Rapka MC video. Now, we've shot Rapka MC Cindy. We have a tape. We are back home. I don't know how to edit. I've never edited a video. I'm going to ask you that. Yeah, I've never edited a video. I don't even know which software works to to cut videos. But I have an idea of of what we should do. So, Rap Kai MC became my tuition, my internship, into my videos. training into videos. So, I have a cassette. First and foremost, I didn't even know how to turn the material into what can be edited. Oh, yeah. to digitize it. I didn't know because it's not like we well, the way we are shooting yeah, right now. Exactly. I so, I so I told this. there's a place called Wilnag on on uh, Agung's called the Crowd. Wow. It's a video production company. Go there and they might be able to help you. So I go to Wilnag and I meet a guy called Rafael. I tell Rafael, I have I have something on this cassette, Super 8 cassette, <laughs> and it's footage for music video and I, I I just need the stuff so that I can put it on a computer and cut. Yeah. So I told me I'm going to charge you it's going to be it's going to be some money you'll have to pay and what not so I said okay fine so he digitized it yeah ah yeah 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 there no hard drives there no USB flash so he digitized them onto CDs 
you know, like just the clips was burning on CDs. That was the best you could do at that time. So now at least I have the stuff on CD. If I put it on a computer, I can remove them from the mm. CD. Mm. That's not the problem. The problem is I don't know how to edit and I don't have the software. I don't know. So I ask around and I'm told there's a software called Ulid Video Studio. <laughs> Ulid Video Studio used to edit how many tracks of One. video? One. One continuous track like this is what you had. That's all you had for all your work. So you Rapka have to MIC cut. You took have to take about pop, yes. Rapka MIC your... took about two months to edit. What? Because I didn't know how to do it. Because it's not like you can layer yes. video one. No. Like you layer them singing to this, and then you layer. There's them no, there's to the no top. Adobe. There's no Final Cut. There's none of this fancy stuff that we cut with nowadays. It is one. Yes. It was one. It track. took me two months to cut it because I was just I was just chancing every day, figuring out what to do. I, I edited for over two months. Before, before the video is out. That's not even the end of the problem. Now, I have this video. Uh, by this time, there's a show called Warehouse. Now, Warehouse are playing videos generally, you know. XYZ, they just bring it on. This time, they preach peace. Thy this is why I can't. Just like able to get videos on your house, their videos were getting played. And we were determined to get to Rapka MIC on Warehouse. Warehouse would play on Saturdays from about 8. Yeah. Now, I have an edit on my computer, isn't it? I decide, let me burn a CD. A CD! <laughs> of the video. Yeah. So I burnt a CD and I've taken it to Nation. Yeah. I burnt a CD and I've gone to Nation and I've labeled it and I put it in an envelope and I put my phone number and I've been told to leave it at the, at the reception because you can't meet the guys who actually receive videos. Who are you? We don't know you. So yeah. put the thing here at the reception and go home. Yeah. So I do that. Sindio. But you're printing two ahead. This yeah. is 2003. <laughs> so I've left it there every Saturday. I'm watching my house. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah. So I'm wondering what is the problem? Yeah. So I go back to Wilnag, this is Raphael, can I ask Raphael, but I took a CD that the guy laughed at me, told me, you don't take CDs to TV. TV cannot play CDs. You go with what is called a mini DV yeah, yeah, mini tape. Day. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, my goodness, then now how do we do this? <laughs> so, <laughs> how do I change my CD to a mini DV? <laughs> So I go back with another CD that I've burnt, and a, a second one, to Raphael again. I tell Raphael, look at I have this, I have to think it's so hot. It has to hit TV. 
Ravel by this time is tired of me, so he refers me over to an editor called Alice. Alice is patient enough to actually figure out what to do, yeah? What? So Alice is like, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what we can do. Alice comes up with a smart idea, she's like, let's connect a CD player, a, D, a VCD player, to a TV. You didn't even have it as a DVD. No, no it's, it's a CD, it's on a CD. So it's VCD. Yes. God. So she's like, let's connect a VCD player to a television, eh? A television has an output. Let's try and get an output signal from that TV and take it to so a mini TV recorder. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's how it worked. And then it, it gets played. It went onto a mini DV cassette. We took the mini DV cassette back to Nation. To Warehouse. We're not talking about the beat or anything. Not the beat. There's no beat. It was Warehouse. The beat had not started. So we take it back. <laughs> we take it back. We take it back to Nation. Yeah. And that Saturday, Debbie Asila was the presenter. Tattoo? Yes. Debbie Asila was the presenter for Warehouse at that time. If I remember right. That Saturday, um, eight something, around halfway through the show. I'm seeing my video is playing. <laughs> Like that was the first video now. That's the first music video I made that ever made it to television. Yeah. Now the story behind you know what I'm saying number one, even if you go and you get it on YouTube, the, the the quality is really low. Yeah. What drives the song is the music. The beat was hot. Yeah. Yeah. But it was converted, it was converted like four times before it got to what it is. That's why you can barely see anything on the video. But oh, wow. the real story is, you see, Rob KMIC is almost black and white, it's sepia. The reason it's sepia is because the original color was horrible. You see, we, we shot with a home oh, DV yes. set. Yes. And after we finished editing, the original color for the edit was, 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 was pathetic, it was terrible. So we came up with the idea, you know what, let's make it stylish. So that it looks like it was deliberate. To make it look Yes, but that was an quality. afterthought. Because the color and everything, the lighting was just terrible. And we needed it to play, but it was not going to play the way it was. So we're like, okay, fine, let's, let's make it look black and white. And it worked. It played. And to date, it still plays on the beat sometimes. <laughs> you know. So that's the story behind rap. Uh, rap, can I say? And we're talking about 2003. Yes. Okay. Let me interject here. Because 
you know you're very responsible for my music career yes the reason as to why i am seated here doing the playhouse mm-hmm. like you are a huge credit on it mm-hmm. and the more you talk the more things come back into my head mm-hmm. first and foremost you shot my first video yes nobody will ever know but we'll I will get there mm-hmm. close your eyes yes secondly i recorded my first three songs here mm-hmm. all actually i recorded my first four songs here let me even remind you on one that you don't know and i've remembered it because you said i'm b mm-hmm. before i got born again there's a time i came here to turn up with a kinabas me a bus bamboo <laughs> <laughs> and we and the and the guy who was producing the song was you and ambi yes i remember that the chorus de makona sai adi jamana jaribu kumda adi jara kadi wul kumda Abbas was singing it. Oh na 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 na. Yes, na, na, na. I remember that. There's a time we got so high here. I remember we that. We didn't even have a chorus to record. So the chorus of the song was just ten 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 ten. Yes. That was like a three four in the morning or exactly. something. I remember. But you were my intro. I mean, even when I was in university in South Africa, mm-hmm. you FedExed me my musics. Yes. Why I say 2003? Because 2003 I began switching and moving into. Some sort of part of the one of the songs that I recorded was a tribute to Isa called Walit Walio Tuacha. I remember it. Walio Tuacha featuring Bimak was the first conscious song I ever recorded. Mm-hmm. It was the first time I because before I was a music manager, it was the first time I ever took that element and then of music and so it as business and production and and distribution and everything. Mm-hmm. Now fast forward I got saved and the next time the reason why I wanted to come here because mm-hmm. one of the best producers and one of the best videos that I had ever seen left here and I was telling people Steve used to be a producer mm-hmm. guys are telling me me I'm like I know Soul Child is a producer guys are like no Soul Child is a guy who does videos and mm-hmm. the video mm-hmm. that you had done that mm-hmm. was changing the industry at the time M O G me mini man of god <laughs> you get so i don't know so so let's now come into this element of music i mean on december 31st the whole industry was here i remember coming here 2003 december 31st yeah. bamboo everybody who was everybody was here yes, in the, in this same room and in yes. this same studio Space, yeah. yeah i want us to talk about two things i want us to talk about your transition into videos okay You get. Yes. Close your eyes was only played on one and then you transition into TV because okay. guys don't even know. So okay. let's let's Yeah. Well, unless there's more you want to add for music. Not really. I think we can we can talk about that. The thing is um how video started was I'd say it is very funny. I tell you why. 